Welcome back to my new video guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to look attractive. Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. My name is Faiza Inam and welcome back to my new video. If you guys are new, welcome and welcome. If you guys don't know me, I'm a fashion beauty and lifestyle blogger. I post on YouTube weekly and I also do Instagram and TikTok as well. So make sure to check out my other channels and make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to look instantly attractive without having to put too much effort in the morning. I'm going to show you how to go from 0 to 10. Well, let's take that back. I'm going to show you how to go from 0 to 1000 and make you look as good as possible in the morning. Again, without having to put too much effort. I'm a very very lazy person and I hate getting up in the morning I'm not a morning person and I remember back in my college university days I used to just get up throw water on my face and I would just leave the house like that hated getting ready I just didn't want to put too much effort and that was always always me fast forward now over the last few years I put a lot of effort into just learning uh, what looks better on me and what doesn't and i just wanted to share all of those tips and tricks with you guys so the very first thing that i wanted to share with you guys is that when you guys wake up in the morning you don't want to walk out with that face outside the house you want to make sure that you change it up a little bit and you don't want that to be seen by other people and it's morning you're supposed to look like uh, you're energized and ready to take on the day uh, but instead you look very untidy you look very messy and you just look very not put together so you want to make sure you have something done to your face and for that very reason i invest a lot of time into skincare I personally don't think that um, makeup can hide a lot of things that's why i personally invest a lot into skincare when i didn't i felt like i grew up having a lot of hyperpigmentation a lot of dark spots on my face i had mild acne i didn't have too much acne i just didn't know how to take care of my skin and with time i've learned for the last three years i've learned how to take care of my skin and what what works best on my skin and what doesn't and it does take time and you just have to find what really works for your skin but if you're new I would highly highly suggest that you start off with cleansing your face in the morning and just moisturizing it and applying sunscreen afterwards when it comes to cleansers always invest in a gentle cleanser and something that doesn't leave your skin dry after washing your face so the two cleansers that I highly highly wanted to suggest are uh, the first one is by First Aid Beauty. It's a gentle cleanser, very, very gentle on your skin. It doesn't leave your skin dry and it just feels very, very soothing and very hydrating um, after I cleanse my face, which is very, very important for a cleanser. The next gentle cleanser that I want you to suggest is the one by Ren Skin Care. It's a gentle cleansing milk. And again, you want to make sure that you have a cleanser that leaves your skin very um, hydrated and very plump in the morning. And this one feels really, really good um, in the morning. These are my go-to um, cleansers that I have for the morning and I absolutely love you. Using those and moving on to a moisturizer you want to make sure that you are using a very very good moisturizer uh, throughout the day something that keeps your skin moisturized throughout the day and you don't have to reapply it and again I'm gonna be leaving the link for this in the description box below and that was part number one which is using a cleanser and a moisturizer for your skin let's move on to part number two or part number two I want you to dedicate a separate part just for sunscreen because I don't think a lot of people realize how important sunscreen is so the one of the first reasons why you get a lot of uh, dark spots or hyperpigmentation is genetics and and uh, one of the other factors, which is one of the most important factors, is uh, not using sunscreen um, during the day. First side, your skin is being exposed to a lot of heat because of the sun. And if the heat causes your face to turn red, that means you, there's a lot of information that's being created on the skin, which can then lead to hyperpigmentation. I realize it, but we're actually getting a lot of dark spots because of the sun exposure. And the sunscreen that I use nowadays is the one by Run Skin Care. It has 22% zinc oxide and it works really, really well. It doesn't leave too much of a white cast on my face. And on days that I'm really, really lazy, I just do skincare and I don't even do makeup. I just head out like that because it just makes my skin feel really, really good. I want to make sure that my skin is healthy, my skin is glowing, and my skin doesn't have a lot of makeup on because sometimes you need that break from your face. Skincare doesn't take me more than five minutes in the morning and that's why I absolutely love doing skincare. So guys, let's move on to part number three. Let's say you're done doing uh, skincare and you just have a bit more time to get ready and you just want to look good for the day so why not do some makeup i'm talking about going as heavy as using like 10 to 20 makeup products uh, keep it very simple just know what your go-to makeup products are so for me i have five to six go-to makeup products that i use uh, when i am getting ready very quickly and i just don't want to put on too much makeup for me guys a lightweight foundation is key other than that i love using a good mascara sometimes i do a liquid eyeliner and sometimes i skip it it's up to you guys 
I always apply on a lipstick or a lip gloss and I always do blush and other than that I do my eyebrows because my eyebrows are very very ugly if I don't do that. Moving on to part number four is to always do your eyebrows. Personally I have to do my eyebrows because if I don't um, they look very very ugly, they look very very messy. I always always uh, do my eyebrows in the morning even if I'm not doing makeup mainly because I have uneven eyebrows. They both have different shapes and that's something that I struggle with. I want to make sure that I'm at least filling in some of the visible space or spots that I have on my eyebrows just to make them look very even and I just do that in the morning just to uh, make them look good and I always fill it in using an eyebrow pencil. Tip number five would be to always do your hair. Don't ever walk out with messy dirty hair. They just look really really bad. Again I've been through that. I've done it. It does not look good. So my tip on having good hair is to uh, always blow dry your hair after washing them. Blow drying gives me a lot of space uh, to style my hair um, because it keeps my hair voluminous. It keeps it very bouncy. It gives a lot of detail to my hair. Whatever style I go with after blow drying my hair it will last me up to two to three days after that it'll start getting a little dirty because there's a lot of buildup in there that's when I start uh, tying my hair so guys I end up doing a low bun I used to do a high bun when I had longer hair I just prefer doing a low bun now and that low bun will last me till the next time I wash my hair. Moving on to part number six would be to always have your go-to essential clothes. I'm a person who grew up spending a lot of money, like a lot of money on trends and on things that were on sale and I would just buy them and just never ever use them again and I would buy a lot of things on trends and although I thought they looked good on me, those weren't the type of things that you would just wear every day. Always always have your go-to essential clothes. So for me, I have like two, three pair of jeans that I love wearing all the time. Other than that, I have my go-to t-shirts. I also have my dress shirts. I don't have more than five, six of them. So when I'm in a hurry and I have to get dressed up and I don't have time to get ready, I always pick those pieces because I know they'll make me look good and I don't have to put a lot of effort into picking out what I want to wear. And they just make me look good and they make me feel good as well. So other than my jeans and other than my tops, I also have my go-to blazers. I have like two, three that I wear all the time. And I also have my go-to coats and go-to shoes as well. Those are the ones that I wear at all times. And I always wear them because they're my go-to and they just make me look good without spending too much time in my closet. I always, always uh, wear them when I can't choose what I want to wear and they'll still make you look really good without putting too much effort. Moving on to part number seven where we do have your go-to accessories or your jewelry. I always have my go-to jewelry at one place and I always use those pieces on rotate. For example, I wear these studs at all times and other than that, I have like, three other pairs of earrings that I wear on rotate and that goes for my necklaces and chokers as well if I don't have time I'll just put on this necklace that I wear at all times and I have one other necklace that I switch between this and that and guys I also love wearing my necklaces I have some chokers and I have some chunky uh, chain necklaces that I wear all the time as well and all you have to do is put on a t-shirt and layer your necklaces and it just makes me look like I have put on a lot of effort into getting ready when all I did was just layer the necklaces and it just makes me look very put together and makes me look very extra and that's why I love love luring necklaces. Last but not least is to always always have your breakfast because it will energize you for the morning and for the day as well. I'm a person that used to skip breakfast a lot of times and I still do sometimes and whenever I do I always end up having a bad day. So one thing I've learned about having quick breakfast is to always have your go-to meals. For example, if you know a protein bar will keep you full in the morning, go ahead and have a protein bar. If you know a croissant will um, fill you up for the next two, three hours, go ahead and have a croissant. So just go ahead and have your go-to meals ready in the morning because they will fill you up. So if I have a bit more of a time on preparing my breakfast, then I'll just go for an instant oatmeal or I'll go for a scrambled egg, whichever I prefer for the day. Overall, never skip your breakfast because it's not healthy for you guys. Hey guys, this is it. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you were able to learn how to instantly get ready in the morning. Your takeaway from this video should be to not use too many parks in the morning. Just know what your go-to parks are and what you can use to instantly get ready fast. For example, don't do like a 10-minute skincare routine in the morning because even I don't have time for that. So stick to a basic skincare routine that goes for makeup as well. I don't have time to put on like 15 to 20 um, makeup products in the morning because that's too much for me. It's going to take away a lot of my time. So I stick to using five to six of them. And that goes for clothes as well. Just know what your go-to pieces are and what you can use every day. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope this video helped and I hope you were able to take something away from this video as well and guys if you like the video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to also subscribe to the channel as well make sure to also check out my other social media channels which is tiktok and instagram because i post a lot over there as well and i'll see you guys next week take care bye